Hello Stampers, Kelly Atchison at stampabub.com coming to you from Menasha, Wisconsin. I am so excited about the project that I'm going to share with you today. I was making this for a group that I'm in and I needed to provide a gift packaging idea, a home decor idea. So I love making presents and I love making framed art and my daughter is very good at making framed art too. She made this picture for me a couple years ago and I just love all the elements that surround the photo. You can make your pictures so much more pretty than um, just a photo in a frame. So I decided to make one for winter. I've got a couple events coming up that I need handmade gifts for and I thought this was perfect. I used the Alpine Adventure Bundle, and this is a fabulous little bundle. You've got sleds and snowshoes in here and some bells and wreaths, but you've also, whoops, you've also got skis in the dies that come with this, and you can cut out the wreaths. There's a sled. We've got a very detailed sled, and this I just love. And the snowflake die that adds to the whole bundle. So, so pretty and charming. So, I want to show you how easy it is to make um, framed art like this. This really is quite simple, number one. And number two, you can make a card that has these same elements on it. Um, so, when you come up with a home decor or you need a home decor item, one of the things I like to do is go out and look online check out the stamp set, see what people are making for cards, and you can adapt that so that it goes in a fabulous frame for a fabulous gift. Let's get started. Now the first thing I did with this is I took the um, little insert, this was the advertisement that was in here, I took this out of my frame. This is gonna be the size for the mat that I used in here. The other thing that I removed was the glass. I do not put glass over my items. Number one, it'll smash it, and it just really oftentimes doesn't look good with the glass. So I took out this insert. This is what I used to cut two pieces of our watercolor paper, five by seven. This is a five by seven frame. And I think I got this at Ikea. As I'm looking at this, yep, Ikea, there. Well, it tells me right there. I got this frame at Ikea. So what I wanted to do was I wanted to create a background for my piece of art. I'm just going to bring out some paper to protect my area here. So I did two different things with our brush o crystal colors. I used the blue and on one of them I sprinkled that blue all over. So I've just got some holes poked in the top here and I'm just going to sprinkle out that blue and I put quite a bit on. Okay, once I had this one done, I sprayed this with water. And this is one of our spritzers. You get two in a package for $3. And I love how um, fine the mist is. It's a very fine mist that comes out of this. So I wanted this to be very wet and I also wanted it to be very dark. That's one way to use the um, brush -o. Now I've got a tissue here and I'm just going to come in and mop up some of this extra water. This layer that I'm making right now is actually the layer that we're going to cut our letters out of. And that's why I wanted it to be pretty solid and dark. And of course you see the really cool swirls in there which just kind of adds to the charm um, that we're gonna have when we cut out our letters. So I'm just gonna take this and set it aside. You can dry this with your heat tool or you can just set it aside and let it dry on its own. Now the way that I'm going to make the layer that I am using for the background of my picture, 
Um, first of all, I'm going to turn it over and use this side because I got some blue on the other side. While it doesn't hurt anything, I want it to be a little lighter. I'm going to, this time I'm going to apply the water first and then sprinkle the crystals on. And it's pretty neat that you can use this a couple different ways to get a couple different techniques going. Now, because this is watercolor paper, you can, um, you want to put a lot of water on it. It's made to handle a lot of water. And I just wanted a little bit of blue. I see right here that it's not bursting. Those colors aren't bursting. So I'm just going to hit that with some more water. And I'm spraying it again just to kind of blow my color around a little bit. Oh my gosh, I think that's perfect. And now again, I'm just going to come in and soak up some of this extra water. There we go. I think this is going to be exactly what I want here. And of course, each one is going to turn out different, right? So that's kind of cool. Now, I'm just going to bring my heat tool in because I don't have another piece of this um, already made that I can switch it out and, you know, keep going. I'm going to dry this with my heat tool and I will be back as soon as I'm done doing that. Okay, we are done with that portion. So I am going to move some of the stuff out of my way here. And we're going to keep working. Now I'm using the large letter framelits and this is an amazing set of dies that is fabulous for scrapbooking and making cards because you can personalize your cards. You can personalize them with a name like a short name or joy, noel, snow, fun, sun, any of your four, three or four letter words. And I am just going to cut out the letters here that say snow. This piece we're using for the background that we're going to attach everything to. As long as I'm die cutting things, I have a piece of Whisper White here, um, a scrap, and I am going to die cut my sled out of that. And I also have the snowflake. What I'm gonna do with that, I'm going to take a piece of our sparkle glimmer paper and I've got um, the, this piece is three and a half by three and three quarters. I've got a piece of our adhesive sheets that is the same size as the sparkle glimmer paper. I'm going to peel off this backing and I'm going to attach my adhesive sheet to the back here. Press that down good and then I'm going to die cut my snowflakes. And I wonder, those of you that follow me, are you proud of me that I remembered the adhesive sheets so I can make stickers? I always forget that. This is a fabulous product that I sell and I got it laying on my desk so I remembered it. Get your stuff out in plain view so you don't forget about it. Okay, I'm gonna die cut all of this stuff. I need three snowflakes so I'm gonna die cut three of those and I'll be right back. Okay, now that I have everything die cut, I could get out my die brush, but I have it packed up. I'm headed to my mom's house tomorrow. Well, today I'm headed over there. She's having some outpatient surgery tomorrow, so I am going to take her to that and stay with her for a couple days. So I've got a lot of my stuff packed up, and I don't have my die brush handy because I am taking it with me. I told her I am moving in, be prepared for all my things. She said, that just sounds wonderful. <laughs> My mom is really fun. She's excited that I'm going to come and stay with her for a couple days. Okay, so I did die cut three snowflakes, and they look fantastic. Let's get them out here. And I am going to just kind of push them up. These are going to pop right off of here, and the stickers are on the back. So that's what that die cut sheet does that die, or, um, adhesive sheet, I should say. I'm gonna get these little things poked out so they're ready to roll and I'll be right back with you. Okay, I've got all my snowflakes out of here. I've set them aside because they're ready to stick down. I have room for one more here, so I'll just hang on to this piece for whatever else I might choose to use it for for a sticker. Okay, here is my little sled, and the next thing I'm going to do with my sled is I'm going to run it through 
the pine, the pine wood planks. And I'm just going to set it in here because I want to get some of this wood grain on there. Now, through the magic of TV, I have already done that and I inserted some of our linen thread down through the top, across the bottom, and up through this other little hole on the side. And we're just going to tie this and this is going to be the little rope for our sled. So you want to get it kind of down here close to the base, close to the sled, I guess is a good, better way, better way to say it. Let's see if I can get this straight. Which one is, there we go. Okay, there we go. And I'm just going to cut this off. So now we've got a way to pull our sled around. If you were to really pull a paper sled around, I don't think you would, but you know what I mean. All right, here comes our letters. These are the best. I absolutely love them. And now you probably didn't need such a big piece of this watercolor paper for your letters. So you can use a smaller scrap if you want, but you do want to have enough room because we're going to emboss and cut out our little greeting that says, let it, let it, and then snow, right? Let it snow. So I've got the let it snow stamp from the Alpine Adventure, some Versamark ink here. I am going to grab my embossing buddy because I don't want my embossing powder to stick any place where I don't want it to, right? This will allow it only to stick where I put the ink. So we're going to stamp our Let It Snow. Oops. I've got, I used it, um, I stamped it right on that really dark blue part because I want this to stand out good. And then we're going to add some white embossing powder to that, just like that. And then, let me put this away because you know if you turn on a heat tool by this powder, it's going to blow it every place. Who's done that? <laughs> I get to go into that category. Been there, done that. Okay. Now, we're going to hit that with the heat tool through the magic of TV. I've already done that. And I need to find my paper snips because all we're going to do is just cut this out with our scissors. And I'm just cutting out like a little square here. Get this in here so I can make it straight. And I'm cutting this pretty close. And then I'm cutting off the word snow. I just want it to say let it. And I don't want those white edges under there, so hang tight. Let me get this a little bit closer. That looks perfect. Okay, I'm gonna save this because I can do other things with this, right? All right, now we need to go crazy with dimensionals. And I've got our um, mini dimensionals here. And I'm going to start adding them on the let it word. I need to also add them, where'd my sled go? You know, the one I'm going to pull around. What did I, oh, here it is. <laughs> Boy, I couldn't see that. Okay, we're going to add some dimensionals to the back. And now I'm just going to catch this string right in the middle here. So that string is going to stay in place behind my sled. There we go. And if you want to, and if you're worried about the, um, seeing these dimensionals from the front, the edges on the mini dimensionals are really big. They're like, they're like really thick. So I like to use these a lot and I just cut them into little strips and I'm going to add that to my sled here. I'm not going to make you watch me put all the dimensionals on all the letters and stuff, but I just want to show you pretty much one of each so you can see how I did this. I'm going to cut some more of these edges because they work really good for the letters too. Here we go. So I'm going to put one right up here at the top of this S. Because this is a home decor item, I want everything to be mounted pretty firmly. Most of the time, I wouldn't worry about it on a card. You don't need to get too darn crazy with your dimensionals. But because this is going to be a picture that's going to be displayed in a home, um, I think that you need to just really make sure it's sturdy. And this is one way to do it. Well, I can use that little piece right there. 
doing here at the bottom? And I just want to make sure that you're not going to see any of these from the front of the letters because that would look really tacky. Don't make a tacky picture. Pay attention to those details and make it spectacular. I think this is going to be my gift. Um, we are headed, as Stampin' Up! demonstrators, we are headed to Orlando at the beginning of November, and I am in a optional gift exchange. We're having a pizza party for my team while we're there, and we are doing an optional gift exchange. So everybody needs to make a handmade gift, and we're gonna exchange those, and then I also always make a hand, we had a have a handmade gift exchange at my team Christmas party. So we do that there too. So I'm gonna need a couple handmade gifts and this is going to be one of my handmade gifts. And I just know that whoever gets it is gonna love it because it's so pretty. I hope it's somebody that gets snow. Like it would be better if it was someone that gets snow versus somebody that lives in Florida, right? But if somebody that lives in Florida does get this as a gift, because we're gonna play some kind of a game to um, figure out who gets the prizes, you know, who gets the gifts. Somebody does get this gift that lives in Florida, they can give it to a friend or relative that lives someplace that gets snow. So where's my other letter? Right here. I promised that I wasn't gonna like keep you to watch me put all these on. And here I am just jabbering away. <laughs> I hope that what I'm sharing with you is useful and you're not going, oh my gosh, would she just shut her lips? <laughs> oh, that's one of my favorite things to say to my husband. And of course it's when we're goofing around, but um, he'll say something crazy to me. And uh, like he wrote on our bathroom, we have an erase board in our laundry room bathroom. And it's always fun because we write funny little notes on there. And he, I think, he, what did he say? It says on there right now, that I think you, oh, it says, I think you are abusing me emotionally. <laughs> I'm like, oh my gosh, are you kidding me? And then it says, stop, in big red letters. <laughs> it was so funny. And um, that was one of those things where I went, oh my gosh, shut your lips. So we kind of fool back and forth like that. It's not like angry, like shut your mouth or anything. We don't talk to each other like that. That should, that should never be happening to anybody. Okay. Um, I'm going to peel the backing off all of these now, and I'm not going to make you listen to me just chatter away. I will be right back with you. All right. Now it is time to put this together. And when you're putting your picture together, I want you to keep something in mind. There is a little border that is behind the edge of the frame. So you want to make sure that you're not sticking any of your elements too close to the edge that they're going to get stuck in there, right? I did that once, so I wanted to make sure I told you about it. So the first thing I did was put on my snow, and I'm going to, I put on the letters, and I'm gonna start that first. And I think that, I'm just gonna set them down here very lightly, I'm not gonna stick them down real hard. I just wanna make sure that I'm getting good placement. Can you hear that whining noise outside? My husband is power washing something. <laughs> That's good, he's working. Getting things cleaned up for winter. Okay, then the let it snow, I put right up here and I tilted it a little bit. Here comes the sled and the sled, ooh, that's getting pretty close to that edge there, but I think we're going to be okay. And I'm just gonna nail that down right there. I want to make sure my letters look straight, and I think, let's pull this up just a little bit. Push my S over just a little bit. Oh my gosh, that looks so nice, doesn't it? Oh, my S is a little low. So this, these dimensionals will let you kind of pop them off there. If you don't push them down too hard, they'll let you pop them off of there for a little while, and then they become quite permanent. Okay, that looks better. Okay, the one thing that I didn't get to do to my picture that I really wanted to was spritz it with a little shimmer paint. And the reason why I didn't is because I had sent my shimmer paint home with one of my um, assistants to make some swap cards for me, so I didn't even have it here. I am going to spritz the frost white. Now I filled this up to about here with rubbing alcohol, and then I take the frost white shimmer paint and I pour just like two drops in here and shake it up 
and it looks nice and pearly and then I'm just going to mist this and this is going to be so beautiful I know you can't see this in the camera but it has a shimmer on it that is just delicious now this little thing doesn't seem to want to lay down so I'm going to add a tiny little piece of mini glue dot and I shouldn't say piece it's a whole mini glue dot but I am taking it and kind of um, manipulating it into a small little dot instead of a you know a bigger dot and I'm gonna see if I can get that right on the back of this to stick on there on the back of the thread ah, it keeps wanting to stick to my fingernail okay there we go did it did it I'm just gonna pull that right over here and stick that down okay that worked out pretty darn good last but not least we have our sticker snowflakes coming in. These already have adhesive stickers on the back of them. And I am just going to place these around my picture. And one more here. We're going to stick that right over here. Okay, you guys, what do you think? Isn't it just the coolest? This is a fabulous gift. Like, if I were to buy this at, let's say, a craft consignment, con consignment store, I'm thinking that this would probably cost about $20 because it is just so very pretty and elegant and beautiful. Now, all I did was I took the back out, I slid this right in there, and there was a mat, like a little narrow mat that came with the frame. I took that mat and I put it behind my picture and that kind of gave it some sturdiness before I put this in. So there you go. I hope you will take some time to make some homemade gifts this holiday season. I know my daughter always makes homemade presents for her friends and family because it's something she can afford when she was a poor college student or I could afford when she was in high school and I had to pay for all that stuff. <laughs> Let's be real. But um. Yeah, it's a great way to use the supplies you already have and capitalize on your abilities and, and share them with your friends and family. I had one customer who was like, oh, I never make anything like that. My family doesn't want that. Well, she happened to come to a class where we made this cutest little snowman and we framed it. It was a picture that you framed. And she was really like, I don't want to go to that one, but all her friends were coming. So she came and she made it. She gave it to her daughter-in-law and she said, to this day, and this is probably seven years ago, her daughter-in-law gets that out every winter and absolutely cherishes that gift that her mother-in-law made for her. Make the gifts. All right, if you would like to get your hands on the large letter framelits, the brush show, the spritzers, the shimmer paint, the Alpine Adventure bundle, um, please get in touch with me. You will find my blog at www.estampabove.com. You can click right up here, and that's going to take you to my blog. You'll find an online ordering button in the right-hand column. I always appreciate your orders. It's what keeps me in business and keeps me bringing free videos to you guys. Don't forget to click down here to subscribe to my YouTube channel. You don't want to miss anything I have coming out. I do have a blog hop happening later this evening with the Control Freaks, so make sure you come back to my blog to check that out. That'll be going live about 8 o'clock p.m. Central Time. Thank you guys from the bottom of my heart for taking a little bit of time out of your day to spend with me. I so appreciate it. Have a great weekend. Bye-bye.